All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Chef on a Shoestring. We are at the LG Experience at Bracketown here for the Final Four. So we've got a Final Four feast for you, a little something different this week. We've bumped the budget up to $60. We have our fine chef, Chef Tim Love, is with us. <laughs> Tim, you've put together a feast, all right? You've got the $60 Absolutely. budget, but you've got a, a I'm excited about the $60 budget. They normally <laughs> give me $20. Over something. the top. Yeah. But you've got a dish representing each school in the Final Absolutely. Four. Tell so me about that. Final Four here. So we've got some grilled corn with cotija. For Butler That's University. That's right. White pizza with clams. Because the white pizza it was invented in Connecticut. That's for That's you, exactly right. And then we got some spoon bread with country ham. Virginia ham. And the bourbon and coke pulled pork. Kentucky. Absolutely. All right. And something representing Houston, Texas, right? Well, absolutely. You know, you can't watch any games without having some burgers. So I got to throw in my, my signature love burger from the Love Shack. All right. So today we're going to make the burgers and we're going to make the pulled pork. Great. Couple All of sandwiches. Right? Couple yes. sandwiches. Okay. So first things first. Let's talk about the beef. So we have some prime sirloin and prime brisket here that we grind up in a food processor. Hey, listen, how important is it, the, the cut of meat you get? Because sometimes I see a Kobe beef burger for like yeah. $80. I think you don't need to go that far yeah, with it's it. Over you the know, top, it's right? burgers, yeah. right? And we're watching games. You're not going to sit here, we're not getting criticized yeah. on our burger. We're just going to eat them. So we make good burgers. <laughs> okay. All right, so and you want to make the, the meat into a ball and let it sit for at least an hour. That's going to allow the proteins to combine together. And, and when you smash it out, it's not going to split apart on the grill. Because normally I just like, you know, I make my patty and I throw it right into the, right. the, the grill. And you got to add breadcrumbs and eggs and all that. We you want, want this beef. to sit like this for at least an hour. That's exactly right. And it binds together. So we season with salt and pepper. We put okay. them on the grill. We let them go in just like this. Now, first, let's talk about the pulled pork. Now, we're going to add in here my special seasoning. So I'm going to have you make this. Okay, the seasoning. You That's just right. Tell we call it the wild game. That's tell me black pepper. In. Black pepper. Salt. Okay, keep going. Guajillo chili powder. Ooh, is this going to be like burn, burn your face off hot? Only if you're not from Texas. <laughs> okay. A little garlic powder. <laughs> Here we go. All right. And then rosemary and thyme. Mix all that out there. All right. All right. Mixing, I'm mixing. Now, we mix all that. We take that seasoning. We're going to put it into our special love sauce that goes on the burger. Now, as you're okay. mixing that, you're I'm going to mix this in. Tell me what you're putting in there. Now, we got some jalapenos. we got some fresh pickles. Fresh pickles. we got some mayonnaise here that we make, of course. Okay. Then we got some ketchup. Uh-huh. Here we go. And now we're going to add in one teaspoon of that sauce. Or that seasoning, go ahead. Hit One it. One teaspoon, That's gotcha. Right. You got a little vinegar here. Okay. Perfect. Now we got our love sauce. I can tell you, it seems like this is going to be pretty hot. Come on now. <laughs> you got jalapenos. Where are you, you from? Hot. Where are you from, Lonnie? Connecticut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got to have something going for you. I mean, <laughs> Listen to you. All right. So, All right. now let's talk about the pork, okay? Okay, let's do it. The pork, we brine it for about four and a half, five hours brine in a salt water brine. So okay, soak it in salt water. It's going to cure the pork a little bit. Okay. Take it out of there. All right, and now we make a cocktail in the pan. Cocktail Maker's, in the pan. Maker's Mark and, and Coke here. This right here, this bourbon, bourbon and, and Coke. Coke. Bourbon <laughs> and Coke, just like this. That's just all right. And this is gonna steam out. Now Coke's got a nice acid to it. It's also got a lot of sugar, as we know. Uh-huh. And the alcohol in the bourbon, is it, well, it just gonna, burns off? It burns off, but it gives a nice, unique flavor to it. Okay. And then I'm gonna season that with the game rub. The Same game thing rub. we just made. So we wanna do very liberally on the game rub, just like this. Okay. Okay, look at this. Awesome. Gotcha. Now wrap that in foil. Now, you don't... Tim, quick. How does a big chunk of meat like this go into like just all that shredded pork? That right. So we about. cook we, it for at least 10 hours. That's the whole thing. Ooh. So what happens is the bourbon and coke steams into the meat. It really makes the meat fall apart. And if I do everything right, which I hope I did, <laughs> we put hours. this in the oven. But we're not Look. making this then, you know, right before the game. This is good. We got a no, lot well, of plan to get you prepare this for the finals. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So, so you got to start cooking tonight. That's exactly right. Okay. So put in this beautiful LG oven right here. Look at this. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm sitting in a kitchen with like 18 pieces of equipment here in Bracket and, and you're sitting in a kitchen yeah. with about 30 cheerleaders. So there, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got all kinds of like, like, good looking women, great looking appliances. I'm in heaven. This is my this is where I live. Okay. So let me take Let's this. Let's get the reveal on this. Look at this, huh? That's steaming I hot. I, I don't understand though how this goes into like like the shredded look right there. <laughs> How's it gonna get all shredded? Well, we're gonna work on that right now. So let's see what happens here. Look at this. See how that just falls apart like that? So do you, are you actually just pulling it apart with your, with your pull it apart with our hands. Look at this. I mean, here, you got to try that. Let me try that. It's right. All right. So now we put the burgers together. Oh, wow. Yes. Let's do the pulled pork sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's get that together because I know we're, we're running out of time and I want to show the final product well, here with the, with the burgers as I'm well. I'm going to make this like this. Why don't you go through the, why don't you go through the budget that. while I'm doing this? Look at that. I'll That's unbelievable. While you're doing that, yeah. let's just check out how you did. We gave you 60 bucks because you have a bucks. lot of food. And I always go over budget. I'm a little bit worried. i got to be honest with no, you. No, no. We gave you $60. You came in. Yeah, there's the cashier sound. $58.69. <laughs> yeah, baby. You did it, Can Timmy. I get some cheering for that? Huh? Yeah. Come on. All right. Timmy, it's always a pleasure when you come by. Thank and you. for my cheerleaders, I thank you guys for sitting in the Absolutely. back. Absolutely. 
Pom-pomming away, baby. Doing, doing your thing.